Jesus. Well, that's just a little turbulence. Why are you so nervous, love? I, I don't know. I didn't sleep well last night. Oh, it, it, it's been a while since you... It's nothing. I mean, I'll be fine. Just make sure that cargo's secure. Everything looks fine back here. Things are shifting a little, but... Damn it! All right, that was quite a belt. Let's uh, get our minds on something else. You ever still think about Ireland? Ah, it's 30 years since I've been there, Leonor. I don't remember anything. <laughs> don't be daft. Uh, tell me a story about uh, when you were a little boy. All right. Did I ever tell you about the time I stole a box of sweets? <laughs> no, you haven't. Uh, I was maybe seven or eight. I was at the corner store with me Dan. He gave me enough money for one box. But I thought, wouldn't it be grand to get the box for him instead? <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Well, I'm not so sure. I think I'd done something at the time and was trying to make up for it. But as much as I wanted to give him the sweets, I still wanted some, you know? So I bought the one and pocketed the other. Oh, no. And just as soon as I paid a man, I turned around and saw me die. <gasps> just staring at me. Oh, no. Did he know what you'd done? Or did you get away with it? Well, that's the thing. He... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Stanley! Put your seatbelt on! The left engine's on fire! No, 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 no. Oh, Christ, this isn't Stanley, good. Stanley, what's happening? We're going down, love, okay? Shit. I need you to hold on. Get in the brake position. Shit. No. Shit. Leonor! Stanley! Fidelio Incident. This is a brand new game on Steam which I stumbled upon and I am in love with it. I am in love with it. I played for a few minutes uh, and I'm uh, kind of addicted to it. So yes, I got pretty much up to the top of the hill. I liked the way I saw. I liked the way it felt. The stories felt great. <laughs> and uh, now we just have a plane crash. This is pretty insane. This is a... Uh, Leonor! Where are you, love? Definitely a survival game in its own way. Oh. Extremely well made from the texture. Up there. My plane. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Jesus Christ! That didn't happen last time. At least I don't remember it. Oh god. No. Leonor! Leonor? Stanley? Leonor, yes, it's, it's Stanley. Stanley. Are you there? I, I can hear you, love. It's, uh, I'm here. You must have picked up. Shh. Christ, I hope you can hear me. Fucking mobile's broken. She can't hear me. I'm still in the plane. Okay. Or okay. part of the plane. My leg gets trapped. Oh, Christ. I can't move. Stanley, I don't know where I am. But I can't see you, but there's smoke. There's black smoke. Can you see? Le Leonor. Black smoke. She's still alive. Pull it together, Stanley. Do what needs to be done. I agree. We gotta do this. We gotta go find her. Is love, Leonardo? Steam. Where's the old Scott? Shift to run. All right. Got to stay warm. So these are gonna keep us warm. These little geysers, these little heat sources. So we're trying to find and go around everywhere here. Oh, just fire here. The manifest. We should have landed hours ago. They'll have to know we're missing. Send out a search party. Please, God. Wow. Now, this game is uh, incredibly cool. Incredibly cool. Now, we have to go and find these documentations all over the place. We'll find our way up there if we can. We'll make our way around and circle here and see if we can find anything to find our way out of here. Definitely have black smoke is where we have to head to. So cold. There's another fire on the side here. Let's go and see what this is. These are Man of Wars, I think they're called. Those are jellyfish. Whoa, don't step in the fire, game edge. Oh. oh. So many islands. 
Even I'm not sure which one we're on. This is set in Iceland. So a much different setting. Look at the mana. These are called mana. This is what I saw. These things are dangerous as hell. If I step on these. Ah! Yeah, exactly. Need to find another way. What an ingenious way to block us from continuing. Wow. Those things are dangerous as hell. I've seen those before. On the beach of Florida. Dangerous things, the beaches. Warm myself up. I don't think I should get too close to that without hurting ourselves. Gotta be careful. It's pure steam. Anything here? No documents? Nothing? Nope. Too dark. If I get lost in there, I'll never get out. So is that the part of the cave? Okay, well, without a flashlight or some kind of torch, we're not gonna be able to do that. Take a piece of fire, I guess, but it'd be still dangerous. What an incredible story. What is this? I was afraid of this. I knew from the moment I saw Stanley clutching that tiny body in his arms that the nightmares would come back. They're worse than ever. I can feel Stanley's heart breaking with every shudder in breath. I heard him say, don't go. Is he talking to me? I'll never leave him. Okay, so it's just the other side as well. Now this is supposedly the same people who made Firewatch, which you can see the, the quality overall, voice acting, extraordinary. And the story is solid. Now, it's supposed to be also a, a Beethoven opera, from what I heard. Or, I'm not sure. Something with Beethoven. But yes, that is something that he is involved with. I don't know enough about it. I'm not a classical music. I do know Beethoven, but I don't know that part. But the story is There's very There's the black smoke. <laughs> Need to find a way to that peak. Yeah, we gotta find it. Let's get a little geyser here, a little heat source, I'm gonna call them for the geysers. Uh, come out of the ground. Oh god. Shelter. Shelter. Hypothermia. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Oh, it's locked. Shit. Shite. I'll warm up here for a bit. Oh, we got a flashlight. That's good. Oh, thank God this torch still works. Does it turn on automatically or did it turn it on? I think it turns on automatically. There's nothing else here. Oh, be careful. Jellyfish again. I don't think, well, they hurt you, but I don't think they're going to damage you overall. I don't see anything else that's here. I wonder what the kind of packages are these. I get delivery in Iceland. Way through here. Very nice. Molly and I were at Rory's pub when in walked Stanley Whitaker. I picked up my pint and walked over to meet him in the middle of the room. When he saw me coming, his eyes lit up with this big, beautiful, goofy smile. I threw him a drink in his face. Then I grabbed him by his collar and I told him to keep his big trap shut about my father. Stanley blinked away the bear and said he was only looking out for me because Mr. Fancy Shoes was just too good looking and that I should have a plain fella so everyone would notice the beautiful woman. He said I was luminous. Then he said people would also know that I'm brave. God knows why, but I laughed and I asked him, oh, why am I brave? I yet have to be, he said, to be seen with a bloke like me. <laughs> well, the entire pub burst into laughter. And then Rory threw him a towel and Stanley caught it without taking his eyes off me. They were the bluest things I'd ever seen. The bastard. I can't wait to see him again. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. All right. Yeah, the story is, is uh, very well structured. So far... To get the hell out of Dodge. Guess we gotta take the torch to the cave. We just wanna get up here and get some heat before we freeze our 
self to death. And we're gonna make our way to that cave. All right, that's good. Wow, it's a beautiful iceberg here. Or what do you want to call this? Ice, yeah, I guess not iceberg, but the ice itself is freaking amazing. The heat should be okay when we arrive here. We should just find it now. I don't know if the flashlight turns on or not by itself. We do need to go up there to go and get his wife. All right, it turns on by itself. Okay, that's awesome. Wow, this is stunning. And where do we go now? Is that a wall? Huh. There's a wall there, that's interesting. As this icy stone closes in around me, I'm overwhelmed by a fear that the last 30 years together was only a dream. That I'm still trapped. Still locked away in the dark. As I cross this godforsaken island to find you, every agonizing step reminds me that a dream is over. But the pain reminds me that I'm still alive. And as long as I live, there is hope. Leonor, I will find you. I will find you. Man, that's some deep stuff. It's like watching a movie. You pick up your movie. Oh, what the hell? Cameras. Why would there be cameras in this cave? Except for security, I know that, but. Awfully weird place. Holy crap. Stunning. It's like a cathedral. It is really nice. I guess no more flashlight needed. Can't climb up there? No. It looks like steps. Wow, they've done a beautiful job this game. Whoa. What the hell? Little lags there keep on hitting up. What the hell? Or is he slipping? Maybe because he's slipping when I'm running. Looks like a way out. Yeah. But I can't climb this ice. You need something, a climbing gear, and that's not going to happen. Unless you pack some in your back pocket, buddy. You're kind of screwed. I think I'll be going that way. Your ass is going to be staying in a cave. Unless, of course, you find yourself My with a climber. Poor bastard. Yeah, poor bastard. That's okay. Because they won't stay trapped in this cave. Yep. Unless you end up like him. <laughs> With a nice little stuck up his ass. That's some weird shit. Wow, this game is like, doesn't need me. It just needs to continue playing. What I do is just walk up to it. Yep. Wow. That's like mega strong. A little bit more. You could do it, sir. Most excellent. Now, do I get to use those things for defending, or we'll see how that goes? Wow. Is that part of a plane, or what is that? Oh, Leonor. Stanley, I can see the lockbox. It's empty. The crash it must have broke open. All the case files, all the information. My diary. You have to find him. You have to find everything. If anyone comes, Stanley. If anyone comes, they can't find out who we are. Oh, bollocks. 
all this time. We've been so careful. What? I don't get it. What the? Okay, this just changed to them hiding something. What are they? Drug traffickers or? out of here. Oh, there. That's what you call shit out of luck. Looks like an eruption occurred. Ooh, talk about freezing your arse off. Earthquakes oh. now. This fucking island is trying to kill me. I agree. Um, we'll start off with the fires on this side. Hopefully we won't have any more eruptions. Let's see if there's any of these things around here that we can find that she's Another sold. Another bunker. Shit. I'll never break through that ice. Um, that's completely underground now with the ice. I can't stop thinking about the dream. We were flying in the plane, but I wasn't afraid. I was giddy with excitement because we were flying back to Ireland. Stanley dove the plane so fast I could feel my stomach floating and we were laughing like we haven't laughed in ages. As we dipped out of the clouds and swooped in over the ocean I could see the white cliffs and green hills. Stone walls and hedges divided the patchwork fields dotted with livestock. And our tray welcoming us home. Then I woke up in this hot, filthy room, dripping with sweat. Stanley's still sleeping. No nightmares, thank God. Maybe it's my turn. Huh. Stanley uses my diary to unlock your path. Huh. Interesting. Oakley dokley. That's some deep shit. I'm really enjoying the story. The story got me captivated. I have to say. It is quite impressive. Now he must be freezing right now and cold. Falling into the water. Heat ourselves up here. Let's make sure there's nothing we're missing on the ground. It can't be easy to miss, I guess, but we're gonna make sure we stay on here and hit to the right. So it's not geysers, these are coming out from a factory. Or whatever. Underground. Fence. Frozen trees. Looks like an experiment that might have occurred here. Or change after long, Another long time. page from our journal. Mother's crying in the next room. She says it's because she's happy, but I don't believe her. My father is getting out of prison. My friends protest the unlawful imprisonments, but I wish they'd kept Michael O'Shea locked up forever. Life in prison isn't long enough for him. It would kill my mother if she ever read this. What if Michael ever read it? Would it kill him? Or would he kill me? Well, the violence didn't stop when he was on the inside. But at least when I read about something terrible in the paper, I knew my father wasn't the cause. But now... God help us all. 3128. Stanley, these will save you. Okay. 3128. This is very confusing. And I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking the confusion. The story. Go, 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 go. Doggy, doggy. All right, don't do that twice. Stanley took me to this lovely old tree on the cliffs overlooking the sea. It was just the perfect spot. Then I saw there were notches carved into the trunk. I pointed them out to him and asked him how many other girls had he brought here. Stanley laughed and said when he was just a lad, he and his dad would come to the same spot for picnics. 
and Paddy would notch the tree to show how much Stanley had grown. I turned as red as a beetroot and muttered some kind of apology. When we sat down to eat lunch, I saw another notch at the base of the tree. When I asked him what that one was for, he winked and said, Margaret Kane. Huh. Uh. If she knew I was reading her journal, she'd just... Uh, don't even think it. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I gotta hurry back before I freeze to death. I gotta find a heat source. Looks like they're gonna force me over here right away. Thin ice. Yeah, I got it, but freezing. I've got to be careful. It's not good. We're almost there. There we go. Let's warm up. Let's take it easy. Okay, we got across onto the other side now. We've been here. Now we gotta go there. Oh, there's a vent here. I didn't see it with all that ice on my face. We'll take it from here. Forgot about this one. Okay. Right across to the other side here. Straight across to the other one. Oh, shoot. It's unforgiving. Anything here to worry about? Another page? The summers in Munich are beautiful. The palazzas are full of tourists, so Stanley and I blend right in. But even in the sea of anonymous faces, we have to be careful. Today, I was sitting in the park with my lunch when this young man with a big fancy camera came up to me. He was handsome and stylish, a real artsy type, and he asked if he could take some photos of me. Obviously, I had to say no. But then he said something that caught me off guard. He said that my eyes were the saddest he'd ever seen. Of course they are, I said. I'm Irish. I left everything on the bench and disappeared into the crowd. I'm Irish too. <laughs> does it help, does it? Oh boy, here it says that 10 days since Stanley's last nightmare, the prayers are working. Interesting. Yes, my Irish heritage too. A lot of Irish. A lot of Irish. All right. Here we go in this quarter here. Anything here? Another page? Wow. All right. Mother begged me not to go, but I assured her it was a peaceful rally. Molly wouldn't go with me. She was afraid the army would show up. So I dragged Stanley with me. I thought for sure he'd want to be there because his father was one of the speakers. Paddy Whitaker was an electrifying presence. People were cheering and clapping as he spoke about the end to the violence, a peaceful end to the troubles. He spoke with such conviction, I nearly wept. But when I looked over at Stanley, he was wearing fucking headphones and messing with his cassette player. He said he'd heard it all before. I couldn't believe it. He has no idea how lucky he is. Huh. And here is for once, Stanley, listen to me. Use these five, I guess, one, two, eight, zero. We'll probably find more of those as we go through it. Three one two eight. I don't know. It's two different papers. It is very interesting. Clues, clues, clues. Oh, there's a key over there. That's awesome. Let's make sure we're not missing anything on this side here. Nothing. All right. I think we did a pretty good job going around everywhere and picking up what we could. I'm hoping. Oh, crap. Right, First the shelter. Now this lock. I've got to find a way through. Uh, 31280. Let's try it. Yes. I don't believe it. Those numbers from the journal. <laughs> this makes no sense. What well, makes no sense? You're about to go in the water for this. Alright, 31280. We're right. The pages are right. It's separate, but they do work. Alright, let's get into the water here and see how and where we're going to go. Hopefully, it's heated. I 
I guess not. Follow the pipes, I guess, is the best way. Oh. Still alive. Yeah, I can't believe it. Man, he'd be freezing his ass off. This is a crazy good story. Loving it every moment of it. This is so much fun. Looks like someone's walking behind me. Come on, run it. Got to get warm. I completely understand. Got to get warm. I, I'm with you. 110%. Well, this valve... Maybe. That's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. Let's get that buddy now. Very cool. We gotta go up here and double check the fires. Let's see whether or not we have anything. It's getting dark. Can't get up there yet. I don't know what's wrong with that man. Stanley came into Rory's pub tonight, sweaty and out of breath. His eye was swollen, his lip was bleeding, and he looked as proud as a peacock. He and one of his no-good mates went messing into East Belfast to stir up trouble. Stanley had the brilliant idea to spray the story plough over a unionist mural, but they got caught by some locals and they got into a scrap. Rory thought that was a gas and bought Stanley a pint. I told Stanley he was an idiot. What if he'd been caught by the guard or the UVF? They'd have bloody killed him. But he was just too proud of himself to listen. <laughs> Oh, the old troubles in Ireland. Rest flee. Can we go up here? It's too dark. No, it's too dark. Right, let's heat yourself back up. And we're going to make our way down here. Hopefully we can stay a little bit warm. On our way down to this side. Okay, warm up. There's another fire right up there. Can I reach that, or...? No. We'll go around the corner, maybe we can get there from there. Let's see what we have here, another pipe. No. Oh shit. Get to the fire, get to the fire. Oh, it's not far from death here. I'm right there! No. no. Oh. There's no time to stop whatsoever. Did I get this journal over here? Actually, I just got to check with that I need to go. Yes, uh, so proud of himself. Yes. Okay. Hey, why am I still freezing? What the hell? Oh, it's not on? Okay, I guess when you come back, it's not on yet. Wow, that just threw me off completely. That, I'm out of here. Hurry for the fire. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Come on. Do both up. Don't stop till you get enough. Come on. Go for the fire. You can do it. Yes. Fireworks. Nothing else? It must be freaking chilly as hell. Oh my god. Freezing cold water. Oh, but I feel like I'm missing something down there. There's a fire down there, too. We can't forget any of the journals. This might cause us. This might be death. I wonder if I have to turn on the valve over there again and then run myself down here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, mate. Yes, there is another piece of journal. My face hurts from trying to smile all night. I can't blame Stanley. There's no way he could have known. He's not that cruel. 
He knew I was named after Beethoven's opera and just assumed that I'd be a fan. But it was my father who loved the opera. He'd blast those records into the night and stagger about with a half-empty bottle, waving it in time with the music. It was terrifying. But I love Stanley. So I gripped his hand and smiled through the entire performance. <laughs> damn. Damn, 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 there's actually a heat source there. Wow, it is rough, this game. What's that sound? Did I get the opera thing? My face hurts from trying to yeah. It looks like it is. Alright, I'll turn it back on to make sure it works. There is something around that corner. You have to double check before you head into the building. It is a must. We're gonna make a run for it. Um, I'm actually gonna go up for the fire here, then run back down the mountain to that side. I think we can make it. There has to be a way there and back. There's no doubt about it. Okay, let's make sure we're completely heated. Toasty warm butt. And go. Run, 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 run. This doesn't look like there's anything I can do with this one. I'm just gonna double check as we pass through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There is one. These pipes. They must all be connected. Okay, I think I need to go back to the other point to see if we can go in that basement. I am so confused right now. We need to head back up there to double check to see if there's a connection between all this. This must turn on, down there must turn on some other pipes. It's very confusing, but we've gone on to 30 minutes, guys. We're going to leave the episode here. When we come back, we're going to find out what's inside these tunnels, and we're going to find out where we can go through it here to finish up this game. Thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate all of your support. Again, if you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And check out our Discord and our Patreon. Uh, servers we have open with Sunday's Die and a whole bunch of other cool games. So, thank you so much for your support. Again, if you like this, hit the like button. Get inside the Tell me you want to see more. And uh, get involved and share it. Make sure it gets out so people can watch it. Again, thank you so much. This is the Edge Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.